In today's video, I'm going to show you the loot from a thousand coffins from Holland Sepulcher, including 183 grand coffins. So is Holland Sepulcher actually really good money? The wiki says it was surprisingly good money, and I honestly didn't believe it. But after doing it, I can say it's not too far off. So let's go ahead and take a look at the wiki itself, and then I will show you the loot that I have from a thousand coffins. So there's a few different things with the wiki. There's low tier loot, medium tier loot, high tier loot. There's also different marks. So at floor one, you get one mark. Floor two, you get two to three marks. Floor three, you get three to five. Four, three to six marks. And five, four to six marks. Here it tells you the different locations of the marks. As far as the loot table goes, every floor has a different chance of getting a different loot table for the coffins that you loot. So for example, floor one, you have a 60% chance to get the low tier loot table, 35% chance to get the medium tier loot table, and a 5% chance to get the high tier loot table. At floor two, it switches to medium tier. So you have a 30% chance for low, 60% chance for medium, and 10% chance for high. And at floor four, you stop getting low tier loot. So you get 60% mid tier and 40% high tier. And floor five, again, 0% at low tier, 20% at mid tier, and 80% at high tier. At floor one, you're expected 5.4K per coffin you loot. At floor two, it goes up to 8.1. Floor five, you are all the way at 24.7K, which is absolutely phenomenal. As far as the uniques go, you do get hollowed marks, and those can be used in the shop. The mysterious pages just drop once just for you to fill out a book, but they are a collection log slot. The strange old lock pick can be used all throughout Gilnor and has a 42k price drop. You can also get clue scrolls and these drop based on your combat achievements. So the more combat achievements you are, the less rare these clue scrolls will be. As far as the loot table goes, for the low tier, 2.2k is about what you're going to get. You can get monk's robe top, monk's robe, and a holy symbol. Not really worth a lot. And then you can get air, fire, and chaos runes. A decent amount of all of them, if I should say. And you can get 50 to 150 Mithra Bolts. You can also get some Prayer Potions, White Lilies, and Coins themselves. So overall, the loot table's not that great, but those extra runes are kind of nice. As far as the mid-tier goes, you can average 7.1k for mid-tier loot. You have an Adamant 2H, and you have an Adamant Plate Body, some, some solid Alka Bolts. You can also get Chaos Runes, Death Runes, and Nature Runes, 60 to 100 of each. So again, pretty solid on runes overall. And... 50 to 200 adamant bolts. You can also get some monkfish and a four dose prayer potion, which is always good. And you can also get some renar and some base coins of 7,500 to 1,200. So overall, you can already see the giant jump from mid tier from the low tier loot. So it's already looking nice, but at high tier, 28.5K, you have a giant chance to get a rune 2H and a rune plate body, and those stack up a ridiculous amount. As far as runes go, law runes, blood runes, soul runes, 150 to 250 each. It's really good for runes, let me tell you. And runite bolts, which is always nice, 100 to 300, so again, a lot there. Monkfish, two to six, which is kind of annoying because you don't need food during this. And Sam Few Serums, dose four, you can get one to two, and those are always nice. Renar Seeds, one to two, and Raw GP, 17.5K to 25K. So the high tier loot is just nuts. Now, the other thing I wanna go over is I did say I did loot 183 grand coffins. So if you're including the Ring of Endurance, which is a one and two on a drop, which I personally haven't got yet, that boosts your average to 149K, which is absolutely insane. Excluding that, it's still 28.5K, which is still great. And again, that Ring of Endurance is just a 24 mil at the current moment, which is crazy. You get eight to 10 marks, which is always super useful when you're trying to finish that collection log. Again, you get the Rune 2H, the Rune Plate Body. You get those runes. This is literally the same exact drop table that is in that high tier. You just have the extra chance at one getting an Elite Clue at a one in 30 rate, which is phenomenal. But also you do end up hopefully at some point getting that ring of endurance, which is just absolute money maker. So with that, we are going to go into how much money that I made from Holland Sepulcher. Now, I do want to say that I did start off. This is all Holland Sepulcher. I am at level 95 agility. Currently, I was not able to do floor five at the beginning, so I probably did about 200 chests with floors three and four. And then as soon as I was able to get floor five, I started doing only four and five only. So you're gonna see a little bit of difference in the loot that I got because I wasn't strictly doing floors four and five. So just keep that in mind when you're taking a look at this, but guys, this is still absolutely insane. 25.6 mil for doing agility. 
let that sink in. This is literally an agility. This is a skill we didn't use to get money in at all until Hollowed Sepulchre. So as you can see, 149 Sanfu Serums, which is just absolutely crazy. That is 3.5 mil on its own. 16,000 Soul Runes, 14,000 Blood Runes, 76 Rune 2Hs, 109 Renard Seeds. I am set for a hot minute. 67 Rune Plate Bodies, 2.3 mil in raw GP, almost 18,000 Law Runes, 14,000 Runite Bolts, as well as 11 Strange Lock Picks, which you can high elk. 2.4k Death Runes, 47 Renars, 32 Prayer Pots, 2.7k Nature Runes, and then you have your Adamant Plate Body, some Cosmic Runes, some Monkfish, which again are basically useless, 33 Addy 2Hs, 4100 Adamant Bolts, and the rest isn't really too great, but we are up to 5,474 Hollowed Marks, as well as some Clue Scrolls. Now, I do also want to say that it's weird. I did get Hard Clues and Elite Clues from the Grand Coffin, and for some reason, they did not make it into this. So I'm not 100% sure how many I got, but I at least got four elites. And I did also want to say that even though these are a thousand coffins and 183 of them are the grand coffin, it, this did take me about 23 to 24 hours of total in-game time to do. So this video took a long time to be able to get out there. And I just wanted to make this video before I went on and finished, hopefully, Hollowed Sepulchre. I have every single item except the Ring of Endurance. Again, I am under drop rate. It's a 1 in 200. I'm at 183 right now, so we are still below that drop rate. But guys, this is absolutely insane money. So if you take that into account that I had, you know, 23, 24 hours into this, that's still 25.6 mil. That's over a mil an hour. I did not believe that when I looked at the wiki for a money guide. It's absolutely insane. The alchemicals are great. And honestly, the runes I've stacked up from this as an Iron Man is absolutely crazy. So if you're an Iron Man and you're skipping out on Halt's Palker and you can be able to do Floor 4, highly, highly, highly recommend hopping over and doing Halt's Palker because honestly, it's a good time. It's very frustrating at times. It is very, very dependent on how the servers are. Sometimes these servers do not want to cooperate at all. Like sometimes these servers are just absolutely terrible and you can really tell when you're doing Hollow Sepulchre because if you use true tile indicator, your character is four, five, six tiles ahead of where your actual character is being shown. And that's just absolutely insane. And then you'll get hit sometimes by things that are right next to you. Other times you just literally run through things. There are different hitboxes and iframes and all that different kind of stuff in Hollow Sepulchre, which is always fun. It's always nice to try to test yourself, see how far you can go, which sometimes ends up screwing you over but you know it is what it is but overall highly recommend hollow sepulcher again 25.6 mil for literally a skill that is free and a skill you did not use to get money from i know you can still get marks of grace places for agility rooftop courses and things like that but this is just crazy guys like a mil an hour over a mil an hour and that is without the ring of endurance that literally if i got the ring that would put me up to almost two mil an hour. Like guys, I'm telling you, do not skip out on Hall Sepulcher. It's great. It is really annoying to learn at first. Take it one step at a time. Highly recommend learning floors one through three first and then learn floor four and then, you know, get that down then floor five. But overall, highly recommend. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have the ring or not. It's gonna be a godsend at God Wars and doing other things like herbivore. But let me know how your luck is and also, I also got the pet from uh, Hollowed Sepulchre as well. It was completely random, was not expecting it, and uh, I love the squirrel. It's one of my favorite pets. That's why it's on my channel art. Uh, if you guys have taken a look at the banners and things, it's just an awesome pet. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like for the algorithm. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Also, we now have channel memberships live on the channel. So if you guys are interested to support the channel directly, make sure you check those out as well. I do appreciate it. You get chat emotes and chat badges for live streams. I'm also a partner with Rogue Energies. So if you're interested in caffeine drinks, make sure you check them out in the description below and use code Roland at checkout for 20% off. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.